policies are generally used for centralized reach configurations and agent behavior. Reach configurations include policies for operator management, such as feature restrictions and licensing configurations, agent and console settings, such as database settings and audit logging, branding options, such as customized text and logo branding, as well as remote control behavior, such as user acceptance prompts and notification settings. Policy scopes allow you to map policies to devices. Policies can then be filtered to apply in specific conditions. For example, your IT compliance policy may dictate that you audit all of your remote control sessions and that a user acceptance prompt must be displayed to all users. However, servers do not require the acceptance prompt. Policies configured on lower scope objects take precedence over policies configured higher up. If the same policy is configured multiple times within a branch, then the policy of the lowest node will apply. I will now show you how to configure this example on a reach server. First, click on the Global Policies tab on the reach server console to begin. The All Users and Device Policy scope is already created by default. The policies assigned to this level will apply to all machines unless a different policy is defined later. Click on the Policies node to see a list of default policies. Click Add Filter to create a new policy scope. This will be our service scope. Click on the three dots to configure a filter for this policy scope. Here, you can configure conditions such as Active Directory OUs or external reach sites. Here, we will select an ADOU. You can continue to add conditions for complex custom groupings for the scope. Let's click Add Filter again under the Old Devices scope and name it Workstations and add the condition. We can now select the appropriate policy group from the right and drag it to the policy scope. This will reveal the policy editor. Configure your policy and click OK. Continue to drag appropriate policy groups to your scopes. Click on the policy node to see and edit the assigned policies for that scope. We can now test the policy by toggling the Test Configuration button. This will temporarily enable the policy. Click the button again to disable testing mode. You can cancel or publish the changes here as well. Once the changes have been published, all agents and products will begin enforcement on the next policy update cycle. By default, this is 30 minutes, but can be changed to suit your organization. You will also notice the policy ID has been incremented. Settings can be rolled back by clicking the Reload Prior Configuration button and clicking Publish again. Find more helpful videos like this one on our YouTube channel or visit Coverland.com for more information.